Let's do another one. Okay. Get a sound of straw plays and get a sound speed with a rapier, which is not massively impressive. It's technically a higher tier weapon, and if it had a good brand on it, like case or something, it would be excellent, but unbranded one, no thanks. It's killing so many of these guys. I don't know, I probably could have avoided the last death. If I did the right things, like buffs early enough and stuff as well. It don't feel like death that was smart at play could have definitely be avoided. And not like some some of the deaths that I have, I, I kind of le left scratch my head wondering, was that actually avoidable or did I just, like, was there anything you could have done with these ones? The ones it's like, well, I could have done stuff. Like with the um, laughing skills one earlier, I could have just not gone to the laughing skills. All right. Bring these back into a corridor. Some people seem to think that like vine stalkers are really tough, but I've definitely had some vine stalkers that are really tough, but... I don't know, I find they tend to take a bit to get going sometimes. And some of them never feel like they get going, and some feel like they get going like incredibly well. Alright, well, take a level of dungeon, it's not too bad, it didn't even have any uniques, no. It wasn't an early unique, Sigmund, Natasha, I mean, they're all the ones that kind of take you out of the early game, I think. Probably a bit early for Block the Blockula, the Orcula. Alright, new staircase, it's got everything around it, so it looks mildly better, what is that, dagger plus the arrow, okay. Ooh. Probably fine, but I'm failing to get the magic back there for a while. Oh, it's funny how you said uh, poison damage goes through the spirit shield. You thought you were teetering, but no, I, I fell for the poison damage myself. Oh, no. I don't have much. I got a wand of acid. And I really don't have a lot, right? Do I? Uh, unless some of these are identified, which I might be. One of these very much could be. Let's give it a try. Poison, well, let's go get out of the way. So I don't accidentally read that in the middle of combat or something. Is this somewhere to look up general win rate by race? Oh, you could probably ask the bot, right? So... What would it be? It would be... Uh... Something like, wait, that's not gonna work, is it? Wait, how what's the what's the thing for win rate? Because that's just gonna be I mean that does list the win rate, but it doesn't sort by the win rate. Um apparently Minotaurs are doing alright. Same with gargoyles. Demons what are doing so well. Hello are doing fine. Let's see if they don't exist. Wait, Deep Draws did really well. But I think only experienced people did to play those. Trolls, sure. Oh, Vizog is at 1.16. That's actually not too bad. Like, that's... I don't know. Almost up there with the Minotaurs. Deep Dwarves were so good. I never really got into, like, Deep Dwarves much. Maybe I should have played them more while they still existed. But I think a lot of the win rage comes to, uh, comes from things that, like, uh, people that are new at the game don't like playing. Oh, Deep Elf being nearly as bad as Octopod is also a surprise? Huh. I mean, it depends on the Octopod. Some Octopods are actually not bad. Like, I did an Octopod summoner, it was kind of really nice. <laughs> but yeah, definitely I find the Octopods really bad, so I don't know. Maybe just be playing the wrong Octopods. Oh, Teleport? Yes, please. Identify, yes, please. Immolate, sure. Spirit Guide is not going to help me out. Um, I could get the heal wounds and identify it, but it's not that useful. Well, it's completely useless, actually. 
Uh, no, I might just, I think it's quite expensive for an identify. Speaking of identify, I do have some of those on me, so, oh, really again? I could just roots this guy, maybe. I got vulnerability, enlightenment, fog, brand weapon. I gotta try the brand weapon, see what I get. A uh, rapier, flaming, I mean, it's something, right? I got a reflection. I do have a little shield, which I should probably get some skill with at some stage. Yeah, in fact, I should probably get that right now. Bring it up to like uh, six skill or something. Try and. Try and reduce the penalties a bit, but mainly about getting actual shield value off of it, I think. Oh, DS is trash because of start scumming. Oh, like people trying to do like mega things and stuff. Yeah, you're probably right, actually. Oh, just like just start scumming in general. They don't like their mutations. So they're like, oh. It's like, nah. I don't like this two hit points, four hit points. Whoops. Ah, no. There we go. Come on, fire! You don't... Oh, come on. Just go out already. Oh, well. So we got... I uh, got flight here. All right. Deep... Uh, elves have low win rate. The same reason deep dwarves have high... New versus export experience. I guess a lot of people would start like uh, elves as mages, right? Like if you're trying to try to mage, it might be the first beat you should try it. Okay, he's just got like a falchion or something. He doesn't have anything too special. I like getting a magic magic, but it doesn't always work perfectly. I look at the. Is that percentage quit? I think that is. So. Yeah. I Two people played Yaks, and one of them quit? That's funny. Meteoran people are quitting? I can kind of understand that, because their whole gimmick. Mayfly too, I mean, they're the same gimmick, right? Grotesque? That was like the old Gargoyle. Why do so many people quit them? Who knows? Demon spawn? Yeah, it makes sense. Mountain Dwarf. Plutonium. Half these are like funny ones. Sheriff, Salamander, these are the funny ones, the deep dwarves that are up there with people quitting them as well. Frog with the old branches, right? What about the yak? How does somebody even play a yak? Like, how do you only get two wins on a yak? I need to, I need to take that staircase, so I need to go down to find another way it's up. Like, surely if they made it into trunk, uh, maybe it was an accident. Maybe they weren't meant to be a playable race. <laughs> I don't know. Like, were they just like an actual yak? Just running around doing yak things? I don't like this. Uh, I gotta run up and kill this guy with a pole up, but then I'm just gonna have to keep him fighting up to that as well. Yeah, no idea on Yaks for a race. Well, clearly no one else has any idea that Yaks for a race either. If only uh, someone's only played like two of them and one person quit. I've oh, got some amnesia here. Hey, look at that. That's a temple. Do I just do Okawaru again? I've been very meant to be testing out this new jaw, but I'm not living long enough to test out this new jaw. I'll do it again. But if this doesn't work out, I might have to do a different god or something. I gotta stab this guy again. Oh, that was risky. They could have got me, I think. I look at all the playable things. Hell yeah, finesse on a vine soaker. That's a, that's the dream of this character. To get some finesse going. Oh no, grinder. He said I don't have the willpower this time round. Gotta zap him with some acid, I think. 
That's honored, honor kill. Well, uh, honorable kill because they were tough enough to get extra piety. Can I even kill an ogre? I want to damage it a little before it gets up to me because they could take me out of like two heads. I don't like that at all. I try to look at some playable races that people have quit. I mean, that's probably a more useful um, metric than just any old races. I mean, demons put on leading the leading that. Interesting. Wait, twenty percent though. Why does it say grotesque are playable? I think I know they they turned into like uh, gargoyles, right? But. Kind of strange that it thinks they're actually playable. Uh, Pock House is very nearby. That should be easy enough to find. Maybe. Gotta look around everywhere around the staircase. That's not what I want to see. I don't want to actually put on the magical power. Hold on, let me do that right now. Um... Okay. I don't think I need any of these light robbers. I did manage to survive the fight. Oh, plus seven. Oh, anti magic demon tried. Not demon tried. Normal tried. Anti magic. I want my magic points. I'm kind of glad I got a ring of magic points. It's going to help me out. All right. Well, I can just go straight in. There's nothing stopping me here. Got a couple of gnolls with their hounds. Uh, I wonder what else is there. It can't just be gnolls, right? Right? Maybe it can. <laughs> Maybe it's just completely gnolls. Oh, wait. Oh, net. Oh, I do about the guy having a net, unfortunately. More nets? Wow, okay. These guys have all got nets. I think they've got pull as well. Hey, these are big counts. I think I just retreat. Yeah, unfortunately the pull up guys are going to be able to stab me at the same time as some of these guys. Let me just get my health back. I think I can't rest. I mean, I guess technically the this guy can buff his allies. Flight is really nice to have. It certainly is in one of these places. Oh, okay. Never mind about that side. Let me cry bump. Bumping, uh, bouncing down the front door, I think. You know what? I'm staying back. Where's my boomerangs? Oh, wait. This guy is fast. Oh, no. Wait, I'm in trouble. Um, I can't get my health back, and I'm really low on health. Uh oh, I'm kind of stuffed up here. I mean, I don't think the one advance is gonna do enough. How long is this guy gonna be fast? And it's still gonna pull up. It can take me out of one hit. I don't like this at all. Um. Okay. At least the roots held it back for a little while. There we go. Where is it? Please tell me it's still reasonably close by so I can get back to my um was that Grom? Oh let's see. Get back to my little choke point here if I need to. I gotta lose a few javelins, but I think, uh, not javelins, boom ranks, but I think it's worth it. It's another Buddha to make these move fast. Oh no, it's, oh no. So another group like this. I think I gotta attend this guy with some acid. 
Which of course, like, this, despite having roots on it. That's my last asset. There we go. Killed it, though. Um, I need short blades to 14. I need fighting to, like, 10, I think. I'm hoping there's something good in the way of loot here, because this has not been easy to fight through. Uh, Bailey can be really rough. Yeah, I think it's the uh, most likely branch to kill me in terms of like the secondary branches, the little portal ones. No, oh, whoops. I quite what that one next to me. I was actually trying to bring it back a bit further first. Did that guy got an axe? I think it's like the toughest portal branch as well. Yeah, it's definitely got the the highest kill chance against me. Okay. Hopefully there's like a God, why is he all this is? Oh, heal wounds, never mind. There's no requirement in here. And a disappointing loot after all that. That's a shame. No, it was definitely tough and then the loot was not good. But, oh wait, Crystal Blade Armor. I didn't even notice this dude that it was doing Crystal Blade Armor. Okay, well I guess the Crystal Blade Armor is fine. Actually, maybe that loot's not too bad. Uh, it's not anything magic. Like, it doesn't have any enchantments, but it's something. Alright, let's get out of here. Can finally start getting... I mean, I can let those skills get to where they want to go. Then I'll get some armor skill, I think. Oh, Crystal's bad? Yeah, Crystal's not bad. That's something. It looks kind of fancy as well. And if I have any enchant armor, which I don't, it gives me something to use it on as well. It's kind of shiny with this character dressed completely in white, basically. I mean, it's not completely in white. It's definitely a very pale outfit. Can I just hear his mouth a little bit, please? So I get steamed to death too quickly. Uh, so many things I need to get. But that's fine. Kind of trying to get to mid delay fairly importantly. It's a robe of poison resist. I know I want the ring of tension though. What have I got? I got flight. I can definitely. Oh, I got a ring of resist, electric dex. Okay. So I might put on the tension. I'll keep on the magical powers. It's doing a lot for me, I think. What's this? Child weapon? Got a flaming rapier. I think I could probably do better than that, right? Oh, steamed vine soaker sounds like a healthy meal. <laughs> I mean, it's got plenty of plant in it, right? It's kind of... Mm. I mean, it kind of is like everything you need in a meal, right? It's got vegetables, it's got meat, it's got everything. There's a level of steam vine stalker. That's a lot of dudes, but do have a staircase. Should help me out. Is my attack delay is it really point seven? What does the uh, what does it go down to? Point five, right? A fourteen scale, right? I see. Guess that's not too bad for this point in the game, but yeah, I definitely got to get that up at some stage. Well, down, I guess. The attack to lay down, the attack uh, speed up. I have any ones or anything like digging in roots? I don't have a lot. If I get in trouble with jelly, I have problems. Oh, cloak of resist electric is plus two as well. Three strats. I mean, that's pretty good. I'll put that one on. I wonder whether it's worth getting dex now when I level up. Or whether I need to get some more strats. Oh, dagger venom? Do 10 damage. What, did, what do I do with a dagger of venom? 6 damage? Actually seems kind of worthwhile, honestly. 
for the tax uh, bit faster because I haven't yet got the mid delay on my current uh, rapier. Once I get mid delay on my rapier, maybe. But this is actually not too bad. We're all starting to get some nice loot. Definitely. No, definitely that cloak is pretty nice. Cruiser Blade Arm is pretty decent as well. And then once Okawaru gets a bit of piety, I might be able to get something out of that as well. We'll see. I might be able to get myself a quick blade, hopefully. Oh, nice rings too. Yeah, oh, actually, I don't really need to resist the electric one anymore. But the uh, magic points one is pretty nice. Potential one is pretty nice. So yeah, eventually... What's my amulet again? Or Fletcher? That's not too bad. Metaphor's all that. The Metaphor's all that works with, like, a quick blade. Just, uh, doesn't do enough damage on each attack to make it worthwhile. What is this? Blinking? Okay. Oh, the, another Vine Soaker. It's my nemesis here. Morris the Thief. That's not my cloak, is it? I don't think so. Whose cloak is that? There's just a random cloak on the ground. Oh, yeah, that's all my stuff, I'm pretty sure. I don't think any of that's new stuff. Why can I steal people's stuff? I mean, it's not got the right skills or something. They're actually, I mean, two Kiva's dance is kind of the closest you can get to stealing people's stuff, right? How <laughs> that reflection is funny with the Santos. That's, hmm, that's not ideal. Hold up. I was worried though, it was with the completely the wrong way when it got to the staircase there, but no, this is fine. It's plus six longsword. That's interesting. And yeah, this guy's also got a bigger shield, but I probably can't use that straight away. I've gotta get some other skills first before I really start uh, working on the shields because I want to attack fast and shields do not help with that. Oh, your health got a lot more stables since playing crystal plate armor. It certainly has, so it doesn't. F oh, that doesn't leave anywhere. It certainly doesn't feel like it's going down quite as much. Although these steam guys could still be a problem. Maybe. Okay, twenty seven percent of petrify. Vine Soakers naturally get some decent willpower, but oh fine, whatever. Oh, whatever like that dude was gonna step on the front, but that's fine. Did I even kill the stage. Nah, it needs a heroism, doesn't it? Oh, probably a finesse as well. Yeah, there we go. Grading some magic back. No, I definitely needed both of those. Oh, that's a nasty D10. Yeah, it's got, uh, it's got some stuff. Certainly has some stuff. Oh, that staircase again? Okay, I need my third staircase here. I don't want to go back down to the Death Yikes. I don't think looking good. I got a charm with a not some... Oh, really? All right. Take the attack opportunities and go back to the staircase. Do I need both the buffs? Kind of depends how it rolls less damage. No, it seems fine. Okawaru loved that, me killing those death yanks. It's fine to be having to put on buffs. I think that really helped because I'm on 5 points of piety now. I guess they do count as dangerous, right? So I get a little bit of bonus piety off them. All right, well, I'll do dungeon level 11. Gonna have to head to the lair fairly soon, though. Some of the short blades, I'll probably end up going back to that, but I'll get some armor to like 10, I think. Invocations to like 8, try and get the finesse closer. Wait, what's up with the staircase? It's like another little piece of this level. Okay. Oh, I have no acid resist. Um, 
I better put on the heroism because they could do some decent chunks of damage to me. Alright, let's get all bog out. What else is in here? Who skeletal warriors? Cyclopses? Oh, stone giants, I mean. Central warriors? I think in spite of the central warrior, I could just retreat back. And maybe not go up there for a little while. Oh, shield size can be nice too with your plus two kite shield. True, true. Might do armor first, but no, that's a good point. If I can get like uh, 10 to 15 skill in shields, I can totally start using that kite shield. I don't even know if I've done any damage to this. I'd see in horror, but it's not doing much damage to me, so I'm not too worried about it. I don't even know if it, there we go, it's dead. I don't even know if it was really damaging me. I was gonna say level 10 overall, but yeah, that was a separated fault, so you didn't have to do it, thankfully, which made my life a little bit better. All right, let's polymorph. Um, polymorph could definitely be scary. Like if they turn you into a, go to left. Uh, if they turn you into like a fungus or something, the dude with a pole arm just wailing on you, and you can't get closer. You can't move as a fungus or something. Oh, I can't use the uh, sack of spiders because I'm with Okawaru. That's fine. That's fair enough. What have we got here? Revelations, nice. And Buckler is gonna rape her. It's not even magic. Come on, dude. I'm disappointed in your rapier. I think these guys have got disappointing rapiers as well. Come on, Spring. It's too bad. Have some rapiers of speed. No self-respecting Spring would go around with a plus zero rapier, surely. Apparently these ones do. What do we got here? We've got some sublimation blood ignite blood ignite poison. I don't think ignite blood is a spell. That'd be a pretty terrifying spell. This blood just catches fire. Like <laughs> once ignited your blood. I, mean, I guess it wouldn't work in undead, but oh. <sighs> Do a might. Ah, oh, probably need a bit of heroism as well. I just wasn't worried because I don't have a curing yet. To cure up any poison if I start taking extreme damage or something. Does the ring of strength improve my evasion? It's not worth it over magic point one. Um, it theoretically could do it a little bit, but yeah, the magic point one is just really nice. Ooh, chant armor. Nice. I know where to put that. I hope, uh, hopefully I can be sticking with this crystal plate armor. I mean, I could find some artifact gold ring armor or something, but I doubt it. But yeah, it would definitely give me something. In fact, I could try it on for a little while to see how much it gives. Uh, it gives, oh, one evasion. Right. Not not even that worth it. Let's drop it. I thought it would give slightly more than that. I thought it would be like two or three. Definitely not worth it. Yeah, definitely not. Especially not over the pretension. Can I find something in a fruit? What if Vine Silk is even eaten like old versions of this game? Because Vine Silk has been around for a while, right? I vaguely remember them being added to the game. Oh, um, but they added, maybe they got re added. I don't know. Got a Rabutan. Oh, yeah, definitely can eat food. How much strength do you generally want for Crystal Blade Armor? Oh, uh, like mid 20s. So what I've got currently is pretty good. I could probably get decks from now on, I reckon. But of course, I need a bit more skill, and then my evasion should go up a bit. But no, I reckon, I think mid-20s is about right with the point where getting decks probably makes more sense.
All right, I'm stuck with five pips of piety, the classic Okawaru number of pips of piety. But I just, I mean, it's a number of pi pips of piety for most gods, honestly. It's just that you notice it so much more with Okawaru. Put on a terrorism, but I don't want to have to put on terrorism. Although I guess I'm already on mid delay, so it mainly just helps with defenses, but I need it for the health. Otherwise, I'm going to get killed by poison again. So much poison. Gotta be some poison or this somewhere, right? I got another protection. I got a choice between a protection and magic points. Um Right. I don't actually know what the right answer to that is. Maybe the protection. Land without resist poison can be rough and sure can. You know what? I'm doing the protection. I don't actually know if this is worthwhile. I mean, it actually helps with the poison, guys, because my uh, magic points aren't doing quite as much when they're directly damaging me. A oh, four enchant weapons? I wish I had a something to enchant. Um, <laughs> Alright, maybe soon, maybe soon. I'm, I'm still on... Oh, I can have buff, are they? Yeah, uh, yeah, that brings up the defenses. Do you think uh, trading spellcasting with Vizor can be worth for magic points? I've done it before, and I think it might be. It's hard to tell when you're going with an uh, Invocations God, because they don't really stack very well, right? The Invocations and the spellcasting, but it might be worth it. I think for a non-Invocations God, it makes perfect sense, though. Um... Oh no. Dude's gonna be lethally poisoned. Negative 30 something health? Oh no. A tree. That doesn't help. Uh. Oh, thank you. A securing potion. Man. <laughs> that's that, that's uh, no poison resist for you. I still got one curing left over, but I don't have a whole lot. I think I wasted my tree potion, but I still got one more at least. All right. Ah, I gotta lignify. I think that's gonna stop this guy doing too much to me. Does that melt my razor sharp teeth? Oh, it does. Yeah, so I don't know if that's worthwhile. Stop this guy going berserk, so it may be worthwhile. But in general, it's not a great thing to be lignified. I thought you were about to see a DCSS classic. A dead floating tree. Oh, it came very close to it. If I hadn't have got that potion, but I did, I might have been dead. Yeah, that, I think that might have been my last turn to actually get it. Before the poison would have uh, taken me to zero. I don't know, maybe I had one more, but I doubt it. And I don't think the poison resist matters once uh, you're already poisoned, at least I don't, don't think so. I'm not 100% sure. It feels like we're behind the curve again in power. It almost does. I think, uh, I think weapons was causing me problems here. I, mean, I do have the flaming rapier, but that's not that good. Can I have a fog or something? <laughs> right. I definitely got the shoals as one of my branches. I know I got the snake, but it's the other one, so I guess that's fine. Even if it doesn't work with other poison resist. What do you mean you can't pick up the lignification? What am I picking up instead? The scale mail? I don't know. Let's try the flaming grave here. It's okay, but I, I need to get the short blades to 14 before I really properly use this, which means not trading my armor for a while, which is a shame because I was doing pretty well with the armor class there, but hey. 
Guess it's a try for a while. Don't even feel like, I feel like half the thing that poison resist anyway. We're getting too close many times this fall. Yeah, definitely. Little Hydra. That... I don't think it could have done it without buffing, but it was pretty easy wild buffs. I'm not sure. Because the armor class definitely helps a lot. If I could have done it without buffing, it would have been nice, but. Uh, I think you're using an anti magic trident. That doesn't make any sense. At what point do I get a shield, like better shield going? Okay. Let's see how this is. It's time to run back to the staircase to the death yaks, but I think I kill a death yak. One death yak, not an entire army of death yaks, of course. I think I can kill without even buffing. There we go. It was barely managing to get, do damage to me. Is what I like to see. Oh, we have really good AC. Yep, we definitely do. We have, that's the main thing going for us. I gotta see my attack delay is 0 0.5. If I put on this shield, it's probably not exactly 0 0.5. 0 0.6. We have to 17 shield value. I don't know. This seems this seems alright. Let's go with this for a little while. Did lose an evasion though, but I think that's probably fine. Going down to three. Is that losing an evasion? No, maybe I was on three already. I don't think I had much before. Can you wear helmets and bite as a vine sword can? Yes, I do believe so. That's what I'm doing right now. Right? No, it's not. But, uh, pretty, yeah, you can definitely still bite while you've got your helmet on. Because I've had plenty of fine stalkers wearing helmets. Oh, I'm just going in here. I can see I'm doing a magic restoring bite, getting my magic back with a helmet on. That's why you asked, because you saw the helmet. Some reason I managed not to see that helmet. Uh... But I was even more armor class than every point of armor class counts. Ooh, ooh, okay. Come on, give me a good weapon. How much shield value do I have? Probably short blades, which are mainly two-handed, so I don't think I need to... One-handed, I mean, so I don't have to worry about shields. Okay, plus seven chaos short blade of resist electric. Plus zero quick blade of uh, electric, or a plus one quick blade of protection. I mean, plus seven, but can't be in charge. Also, I'm not a huge fan of Chaos. It's better than it used to be, but I might just take the plus one quick blade and charge it up. I could probably get it to a decent amount. Might also, I don't know, might want to rebrand some of tensions, okay. But I'd rather have like an electrocution or something on that. Um, but quick blade's definitely nice. Yeah, tag delay 0 0.6, right, but it tags twice, so I can identify whatever this is. Uh, try to charge it up, get it to plus 6, which should help its damage a lot. Yeah, that brings up to 12 damage. From 7 damage, which is a huge difference. I really do feel like it should rebrand it. Okay, not yet, apparently. A quick blade of chaos sounds like it will kill us. Yeah, that would definitely, like, uh, frenzy something up. Surely. This feels good, honestly. Uh, I think how I describe this weapon feels good to use. Nope, the damage feels like it's there. Uh, okay. I think shield's up to like 14. Yeah, fighting up to 14 as well. I can theoretically duel, so I might try to get the duel a bit closer to be usable. Oh, wait, I've got my armor. I can receive some armor in the middle of combat. Sure, why not? Plus 14 plate armor, minus two boots. Plus two boots. Come on, Okawaru. I mean, the plate armor's four more AC. Currently mob native, but it won't stay that way for long. 
I mean, the boots are probably four more AC as well, though. They're two more AC. Oh, you think that Predation is probably one of the better brands? On a quick blade? Yeah, maybe. It's not one of the brands I usually go with, but it might actually work well in quick blade. I don't actually know what the best quick blade bands are. I just know that an electric usually can be quite good. A heavy can be really terrible. Um. <laughs> Alright, what do I want? Oh, you don't need the damage as much as the Vine Circle, right? Because you can do the um, damage with your teeth, right? Oh, those are some questionable boots, but... Who doesn't want some boots of stealth? I guess I'll take them. I know the plane arm is like currently a little bit more defense. Actually, I think protection might be a good idea. That gives me some pretty insane armor class, at least. My shield's up a little bit from where it was. It should go up even further. I think that's what I'm trading right now. Yeah, actually, that's some absolutely rips through Hydras. This is nice. What's my attack delay? Is 0.6? Is it reliably 0.6? Or it should have a little bit of variation in it because they get a shield and they're kind of weird with their attack delays sometimes. But that feels very reliably 0.6 right now. Oh, it's already 0 0.5 in there, so it's slightly lower than 0 0.6, I think. This might end up that deep already, apparently? Okay. How many fire this, which could be a problem with all the... Those guys. Right? Pretty sure I don't have fire this. I'm just kind of relying on the armor class, because that does reduce the damage I take from the fire, but... Oh, no. That's... Not got fire this. Okay. Huh. No teleport out. Right. I do not finish this level. That's too many guys with fire damage. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get killed by that hellhog. I'm hoping it stays in this little, uh, little hole that is dug for itself there. But I'm not sure it will. Yeah, I definitely need to fire this before I come back for that one. Because those do tons of fire damage. I just rely on the armor class to get through. It doesn't go to quite work. Even if I have like some finesse or something on. Oh, don't petrify myself. I think I did get like a slight chance to petrify me. Unfortunately, I'd stay in the clouds one time, but I didn't mean to. Because I moved and then instantly put out the cloud. I didn't move again. Uh... Well, that absolutely strips through the health of that guy. All right, I just got to make sure I don't get like paralyzed or something. That would be tragic. Or put to sleep would probably be pretty bad as well. Because then I wouldn't be able to do my magic restoring bites anymore. I can't the plane over poison resistance. As much as I like poison resistance, I don't think I can care about that one. All right, well, the rapier is not that good anymore. Um, Throwing the thing I would eventually get. Oh, wait, when did I get a charm weapon? Let's go bring this up to plus seven. All right, well, I was leaving this till later on. Let's just do dungeon, whatever, 12 or something. Or the orcish mines, either of those is fine. Although, how do I will pals? It's kind of sad. <laughs> Actually, this is probably the Orcish Mines too, so I probably couldn't have done the Orcish Mines. A resistant electric has to be the best. I mean, that's, uh, that's something I do. I got some. I don't have like another thing of resistant electric as well. I've got like tons of things of resistant electric. <laughs> 
So by the time we get to the falls, at least they're not going to get electrocuted by Thunderhawks. And there's also electric golems later on if I make it to electric golems. I right, got one more shield value. This all seems to be doing all right. I think the the jewels are the twelve percent failure. Uh, oh, in terms of like a uh, quick blade brands, right? No, I see what you mean. That is a pretty good one. I try to my bus this game, but it's not perfect. Oh, I don't like that. Barbs on fire. I might have to duel this dude. And it immediately just lets me out of the place. Okay. I'm so not used to that just immediately letting me out of the place. Um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. But I, I guess it makes sense. Oh wait, those are those are good javelins. Also, I shouldn't find. Oh, I should have resistance to electric. This F I as bad as it could be. And his neg just goes to Minotaur mug. Forty damage. No, I'm not fighting someone with forty damage. That's ridiculous. Damage at this point of the game. I do like thirty damage. The guy down there doing forty. I mean, to be fair, I take pretty fast. Oh, the guy's got big nerf. <laughs> I didn't quite get that when I when I saw the guy's name. That actually makes sense. Oh, that's hilarious. Plus, okay, we've got some fire dragon scales. I don't think there was some though. Decrease AC by seven. De oh, increase evasion by like five. Mm. Yeah, it's not quite what I'm after. Hey, Gazerad. How are you, uh, are you mixing strength and dex in this character? Yeah, I probably got about as much strength as I'm gonna get. And then I'll probably just go dex from now on. But yeah, this is like heavy armored, quick blades, vine stalker, kind of the, the classic thing. Testing out Okawara's new jewel. It's, I still don't know quite how to use it properly. Like what's the best thing to use it on? Um, It seems interesting. Oh. I want to be slowed. Can't really deal with that summoner right now. I've got other guys that got to deal with. There we go. Now I can deal with it. Yeah, slow plus finesse, I think, still means faster than normal attack delay. It just means I'm moving around a little bit slow. Wish I had some other fire resist. Um, I dropped that down, but hopefully fine. Oh, there's a bot in here. What do you want Dex for? I mean, a little bit of evasion, a little bit of uh, damage, not much of the way of damage. But yeah, mainly evasion. I should probably get some dodging at some stage. Not yet, though. It's just I don't really need strength for my damage. So strength is just kind of reducing evasion penalties, right? Well, they already the best views. I was trying to sell best views. Man, it seems like this. Uh, oh, I should actually go down again. That's silly. Seems like there's only two bots. There's like the best viewers one and there's the cheap viewers one. I mean, the, the cheap viewers one probably isn't a lie, but I feel like the best viewers one is. Alright, let's do some mortgage mines. I should definitely be doing that. Wow, some of the two hellhounds? I didn't even realize that that guy could. Strength increases bite damage. Oh, you think you just go full strength to increase the bite damage? Oh, I forgot about that. No, that's a good point. Actually, I kind of am like a full-on strength character, aren't I? If the strength is bite, uh, bite is strength damage. Oh, that's way too many priests. I think I can retreat, though. That's not the right way to retreat, but it'll do. That's a summon. I might just wait for the summon dude to disappear. Why does eight corrosion? Can I just finesse up a little bit? I'm basically relying purely on bite damage. Is that doing anything? Minus 16 corrosion. Can I get I'm barbed? Can I just get out of here anyway? Yes. Oh, wait, hold up. 
That's a little long, but it's, uh, I don't think it's anything too tough. Minus 16 Corrosion is like, you basically just don't do damage anymore with this character, unfortunately. Minus 16 is rough. Yeah, definitely for this character, especially. I imagine holding that tiny dagger into a massive, mighty fist. <laughs> it's kind of funny how the, the dagger isn't even really what I use for most of my damage. I just have to hold it so I can attack quick. I don't know quite how that works, but I guess it worked out somehow. Well, I do want the blinky and I do want the Shantam. And Shantam is excellent. Um, what are the other shops? Ringmail, Buckler Reflection, sure. Just go buy the Enchant Armor. I don't see myself just fighting some better armor than that anyway. Get the blinky later once I've seen what other loot there is here. No, wait, do I have no curing? I got three curing. I could buy some more curing. Ooh, I don't like little this. I might finesse up. Okay, that's better. Yeah, you know what? Let's get this round. So if it's going to help me with my bite damage, it's probably worthwhile. Because that's going to help more than with my other weapons damage. Alright, well, that's finally the first level of the Orcish Mine, so no wonder there's not too many shops. That was just like a bonus shop. Show me what I'm going to end up with. I'm going to finesse up these guys, actually. Because there's too many guys smiting me right now. That guy's even... Real. It's not even summoned. I think we are okay. My magic is staying up at least. So my finesse is definitely helping me out. Yeah, the basic orcs are kind of just like one hit, but it's uh, the priest and stuff smiting me. Don't worry. So, God, oh, lots of shops. So, this mutation, maybe lignification, resistance, definitely. I already have got one of those. Must Well, at least it's identified. Oh, I've got two. Wait, really? Just a brilliance and a... Wait, do I even need a bronze here? It restores magic points, but it doesn't even bring my health back. Also, Okumaru doesn't really, like, benefit from a bronze here anymore because the jewel doesn't quite use it. I think I gotta finesse up again. There's a lot of dudes around this corner. I know they'll be coming around one at a time, but it's still worrying with the guys with this paralysis on 20% that I can't really reduce, although I might be able to because I do have some enlightenment. He also put anti magic on the guy, which does something. Oh, is this finesse gonna last? Can I kill some more guys before it wears off? I might be able to. Oh, there we go. That's how long it lasts. My enlightenment. Oh, I can I put it back on? These look bad. Yeah, get us all the tough dudes. Oh, the other one of these priests. Oh, paralyzed. I really should be risking that 20% paralysis, should I? It seems, uh, it seems a mildly bad idea. All right, well, I fought my way to the center. Oh, the wiki seems to say bite strength scaling was removed. Where's my bite? It says base damage. That's not very helpful. Uh... Yeah, it gives the accuracy of base damage, but I don't know if that actually lists its damage anywhere. That's one thing you still can't exactly tell what it does. It's the auxiliary damage. As mockers to play now, but not that I can fold the stuff. I got the chunned up stuff. Well, I got mine for free, I guess. Well, kind of. It wasn't really for free. It was uh, for doing a Bailey that was really, really to be hard. I guess that frees me up to buy a ton of potions. And... Oh, ow. Scrolls. Um. Did I just get one of these guys with a bit of. Jewel, but unfortunately that puts me back into the same old situation. So they were way too much damage when they were shooting me. And I don't have a way of closing the gap quickly. Oh, that's not good. I gotta light it, otherwise I might get paralyzed. 
Yeah, that mic's probably relatively harmless, given... ...the situation. Um... All right, there we go. Oh, those are those real? No, I think those might be real. They're trying to bar me up too, because they're all red devils, which makes my life a little bit harder. There we go, deal with them. Oh, the wiki says the strength part was removed, so it's now one plus two times rank per the wiki. Plus X over over three for vine stalkers. So wait, does it scale with fighting at all? What does it actually scale with? Bloodstained Rapier? Probably not, but like I gotta give it a try, right? It could be good, it could be speed, but it's probably not. Where is it? Heavy? No thanks. Come on, I don't want heavy. Right, what is this? Brilliance, and this is... Oh, an acquirement. So that's all three plus ten played out, which I know is not that good. Resist negative ring, a dagger of draining, or some money. Resist negative false strength is like... Mm, maybe needed in some spots, but most areas wouldn't even care. I mean, it's nice to have a backup one. Do I have a backup one? I don't have a backup resist negative. I don't know, it doesn't look that important. It just scales with the XL, apparently? Oh, Jewel's also cheaper now. Oh, it is too. It's about the same because it's finesse. Okay. Huh. So maybe you should be using it a little bit more often. I guess you could Jewel multiple times, although that would probably still go through it pretty quick. I will get the Keurig, actually, I guess. Wait, does the side of curing as well? No. All right. Just identify the mutation. Definitely get the resistance. Haste. Excellent. I'm uh, probably out of money now. Uh, oh, no. I can get the Brodia. Get that identified. There we go. That's a decent amount of my stuff identified. I already have some useful stuff. I've got butterflies. I've got amnesia. Alright, where do I want to go? Dungeon level? I feel like dungeon level was 14 or something, wasn't I? I was actually quite deep in the dungeon. Whoa. Hey, Auric. And, uh, what's his name? Rufus already bizarre. Can I just go up? And this Nethos as well. It's one of those ones that just has everyone. It's like, hello, Rufus. Yeah, I don't have enough willpower. I can... Oh, definitely light it. Okay. Reflecting something back in the center. What else can I do to it on Nethos? I mean... I might not need to do anything. I mean, you shouldn't have too much willpower, right? Yeah, okay, I'm putting my best in the trick. He kills himself, he sure does, with, the, with my reflection on. I mean, I guess it's not perfect. Let's go look at Rupert here. So Rupert's on 30% of paralysis. I hate that. I'm probably going to get down to like 10%, right? 8%, okay. And I can hit him with the finesse, which is hitting reasonably fast. Oh, he's got Berserk? That's probably fine. Yeah, there we go. And there was someone else that was like, uh, there we go, Aurug. I still got the finesse on. I've still got the willpower in case I need it. Oh, it's a classic false five entrance for the I mean, it's, a, it's for vaults as well. I kind of like that one, but it's not good if both the staircase are the same. Oh no, not a dragon. I'm going to finesse up because I don't have any fire resist. And I don't think I can really gain fire resist, at least not in a hurry. I mean, sure, I could run back and grab myself a fire dragon armor or something. Uh... I don't even see most of the bog arts, which is a bit of a worry. I 
Wait, do I have something else that can hit that guy? Roots, good. So they're getting low on acid. Uh. Alright, there we go. That does the trick. Oh, you thinking javelins, maybe? Oh, that's true. I can use javelins. I haven't really spanked into them, have I? I'm not a springer, so I should be able to. With heroism, right. No, that would make sense, because then I'd have, like, five skill. Speaking of javelins... What point do I get some javelins? Like, skill with throwing. I just get the first five skill, like, right now. And then once I'm heroes enough, it's like 10 skill, which is sort of enough to do some decent damage. But I'm definitely not going to be that good at throwing because... Wait, I should have the ring of ice on. Because, uh... I can't do my bite with throwing, so I kind of lose a lot of defense. Like, I'm not gaining back magic points all the time. Ooh. Bring one of those up, okay. Not doing too bad. Excellent. Oh, your hands are all so vitey. So it's understandable. I mean, I guess. <coughs> uh. But I can't bite things at range, unfortunately. I don't think even Manifold Assault bites things at range. Otherwise, that might be a little bit powerful. Be able to bite things, get your magic points back, and bite them some more. That would be really nice, but I don't think it works. I'm sure if you uh, feel strictly melee character, having gems in the back of is nice. Yeah, it's definitely worth having. Oh, not fire dragons. Not still wearing a ring of ice or something. <laughs> How are they missing? They're like four evasion. That's more like it. One of them actually hitting. That's more than I was expecting. I wasn't expecting my four evasion to go so far though, because I don't think they were even targeting my shield, right? Alright, what else have we got to identify? I've got potions, more potions, also degeneration potions, good old degen, and of course, I, I don't like how I miss out on butterflies, but it's probably still been worth being over with Okumaru, they're still a pretty good god, especially when you get to finesse out with a quick blade, that's always really excellent. Yeah, I feel like the quick blade was the largest spike in power for this character, definitely. Where do I want to go? I've got the shoals, I've got the spider's nest. There's a ring of flight. Is it a potential? It's probably worthwhile. I'm not sure about the shoals though, because uh, running away is kind of hard, but we'll see. I mean, running away is always kind of hard for a fine stalker anyway. Can I get, like, a Vise Electric Charge? Probably not. It wouldn't be too bad if I could. You know, I also got the Metaphor Soul. That's not the right one. Permafrost Eruption? No, I don't think those help. Maybe, no, I don't think a Pile Driver helps. What I really need is, like, a way to close distance with enemies. i pull this dude back because it's got... Oh, that doesn't quite work. I ran to another one. I wanted to pull it back because I had, like, javelins. I wanted to kill it above dry land so I could steal its javelins. But not javelins, boomerangs. But it wasn't that important if it died in water or not. We'll find plenty of throwing weapons here. We sure will. That was a good spot for getting the throwing weapons. The javelins are definitely the ones I want. Ooh, can I just sit here? <laughs> I can, in fact, just sit here without any problems. And all those guys will just disappear. Sometimes your problems solve themselves. 
And it was good though too, because they wouldn't be too bad to retreat back if I started getting a bit wounded. I mean, some of those guys probably could have made out them, but most of the Santos would have got stuck behind the water. Joel's down to six percent failure, right? Because that's that's what I should be using just to see how good it is. What's this? Anything good here? It's a this negative ring, but that's about it. Oh, Javelin, yeah, I've got a... Do a finesse. Uh, good. At least these guys are pulling in the Javelin, yeah, because it does want to shoot through its own friends. Right, well, everything was pretty trivial once I got uh, finessed up, but I just, just uh, javelins ignore my shield, so they actually can't do a reasonable amount to me. Oh, hey, Ulshui. I might be able to, like, duel with Ulshui. Does that make any sense? I should stick around and damage some of these guys first, I think. Because you do get the bonus 50% health. So if you're already half dead when you go into a duel... I might not even need to duel. Ushui's already dead. Okay, well, it, went, it was definitely a good backup plan. Once it got down to almost half health, I was going to duel Ushui, get rid of her, but nope, didn't need to. That was a shop. Uh, it's only an armor shop, but I got to get through it by the level beneath. What is that rapier anyway? Sometimes I think they're like speed rapiers in here, but it's probably not worth it over a highly enchanted quick blade of protection, I reckon. Because speed rapiers are pretty good because they like quick blades except they actually do uh damage. But they don't really get any other brand. It's kinda like having a damage brand. A pretty good one at that. All right, well, it's uh, level two of the shawls done. Oh, no, where are we going? That's okay. Can't get next to this dude. All right, shields is 14, which is probably enough for now. Trailblazer is 14. I'll bring the armor up to maybe 14 as well. Fighting is 14. Throwing I might bring up to 10. Yeah, Tan's probably, I don't know. I want to be able to use those javelins, but Ted should help. That's halfway there. Well, over halfway there. Well, depending how you count it, though, because the higher levels take more experience. So maybe it's like halfway there. I do want a ring of fire. I don't have any fire resist, so... It's an emergency fire resist in case I find a unique or something that's doing fire damage to me. Oh, I do want to... I want to fight these plants. Because I want that scroll, but maybe there was a better way of doing this because I'm now minus 12 corrosion. I do have a cancellation right if I need to. Which I didn't need to, thankfully. Alright, now I can chart up my crystal plate armor, bring that up slightly. I should probably should have tried for like a resist corrosion or something. I'm not sure if I got one of those. It seems to be a general scene where this character's like, oh, I don't know if I have that resist. Is that to go without it? Oh, I'm getting low on these potions. So I got a berserk one there. Well, low one to identify, which is actually a good thing. Ah, uh, there's a willpower ring. There's a, I've got a resist electric, right? Pretty sure I've got like tons of resist electric, but there's a willpower ring here. I don't need it right now. There's also a potential cold ring. Um... EB Shujan. Either of those rings could be really good on the vaults. Let's see, because my willpower is definitely low, but is this cold? I probably do need, though. That seems fine, right? Why did you step back? Oh, I reflected back a blast that pushes you back. That makes sense. And that, uh, like, a blast of water or whatever it is. Oh, 
All right. Well, one of these staircases should lead to a shop. So I'll try this. We'll try. This looks like it. There's a faintly humming leather arm, which is artifact leather. I don't think I need artifact leather. Ooh, it's quite been counted. I probably got revelations. I got money. Which one is it? Wait, where is it? Well, there's only one portal on this level, so that one. <laughs> that would be it. All right, what do I got? I can, I've got one inventory slot. I might drop the poison darts, the intelligence. You can always turn the, this into money. I can drop the, the equipment to money. I can drop the noise. Probably good enough. Ooh, enchant me, yes, please. Maybe a enchant weapon. What else have we got? There's teleports and stuff there. I'll take a look at the other things. Uh, boots. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, wait. I might be able to afford them. Mounted boots could be really good. What are my boots? Oh, it's a stealth. Okay. How much does it give? 800 money is definitely worth getting. So I can get some mounted boots. What's in my head? is like plus zero helmet. There's some sort of hat there. Nothing much there. Haste potion. All right. Well, I'll start with the boots because those seem pretty good. There's also a glowing scarf, which I could risk. But anyway, I get cold resist with these boots at least. So that's one of my resists uh, to control. Uh... A chart armor, chart weapon. Do I need an identifier? This one's like really cheap. Could do. Sure. So I got a potion of magic. What else have we got? Oh, do these people want your business or what? What's with all the fire? Well, this technically safe. You can walk down the center of the fire and not get burned. <laughs> it doesn't look safe, but it's technically safe. So they're just trying to keep you nice and warm when you're buying your equipment. Do I try to scarf the hat? My clothes resist the lettering. It's actually not bad. I'm going to try the hat. Plus one. Oh. <laughs> well, that might have been the right, wrong choice. I mean, or it might not have been. I don't know what the other one is. Oh, I can't even auto travel out of here. <laughs> Put on some finesse. Get rid of another one of these guys. Another one of the javelin ears. Oh, well, I got the. I can probably drop the old boots. I don't think the hat's worthwhile. Oh, wait. I got the uh, shard weapon so I can max out my quick blade. And I got the shard armor so I can get another armor class. I 40 armor class. I don't like this. This guy can sit there stabbing me, but it's not as much I can do about that. This house is okay. What was that even? Vampiric? No wonder it was staying nice and healthy. Although, to be fair, that was mainly because I wasn't attacking it that it was staying nice and healthy. What how much just putting anti magic on these guys helps? I mean, it probably helps with the aqua mancers, but I don't know if it helps as much else. Oh, crack it. Can I poison it? Don't have any poison resist myself, but that should be fine. Wait, it's actually running right up to me? Usually they just send out their tentacles, but I guess that's fine. The actual body segment itself does have an attack. Oh. Don't mesmerize me. It's probably fine, but there's a lot of dudes here. I want to kill this guy. Oh, I think I want to go jewel this guy. Then I'm going to get chucked out of here without full health. Um, maybe there's another archer. Okay. Oh, I failed the jewel. I'm going to try again. What about my magic points? How does what does this happen to those? I mean, the health goes back to the starting health. Fear me. Oh. <sighs> I 
That's mildly inconvenient. I think I might do a fog. Okay. I gotta draw another one, but... Because I effectively don't lose any health while fighting a thing of dueling, right? Because I get, uh, well, I get like an extra tart health bar to help me out. It's definitely cheaper than before. Oh, it's the rune. No wonder there's so many guys. That makes sense. No, they're definitely liking how the duel's quite a bit cheaper. Because it does allow me to duel a lot more guys than previously. And it's good to actually get to duel a lot of guys, because that's the whole point of this character, just get to test out the duel. I might buff up. Uh, or cheaper, because you can't heal after. Yeah, so it's kind of a bit... You kind of end up in a cycle where you're just dueling and dueling and dueling, because you can't heal up otherwise. Um... All right, what's this guy? But it feels a bit more action packed than before. We're gonna try to do two slag and resist negative. Two slag is uh, I just get a lot of attacks because I get the whole quick blade. I've got the whole bite, but I don't think I go with that. Oh, I can't afford these rings of willpower and stuff anymore. Maybe I do. Yeah, if I put on, take off the flight, now it should be able to go to... I don't think I do the spider this yet, because I haven't got the whole poison resistance stuff, but I think I just go fight these guys. So I'm missing a fire resist, poison resist, resist corrosion, and I think I'm a bit low on the willpower as well. Hold on, that's not the, uh, it's not the right menu. Yeah, I'm on two willpower, so I get marked all the time. Oh, no. Ow. I think I gotta duel this dude. If I cure that poison now, I don't actually get to find out if it will stay cured. It'd be kind of nice to know. Um, are you going to use it before you get too low with the jewel? Yeah, because uh, I mean, once you get to high health, it kind of seems pretty ideal, right? Because then you start the jewel like uh, on full health. You've got half a health bar to spend. I mean, you could probably do it a bit before then, but that seems about right. Jewel saved you there? Probably did. Yeah, that would have been really bad without the jewel, so. No, I'm glad I could do that. But getting paralyzed and poisoned is not great. I don't think jellyfish are very common in here, thankfully. It's kind of one of those rad uses. Oh. I hate this, but I gotta jewel something. I just this dude or whatever. Just hoping that guy it did split a little. Yeah, they split a lot. Good. This character doesn't quite feel alive. They feel like they're doing okay, but um, yeah, keeping them alive can be a little bit of a problem here. It feels like. I pull anything that wants to back into here because I was mic'd. Low HP problems, exactly. Nope, that's definitely... I think it's, uh, tides can turn very quickly on me with these low HP. I'll be able to get, uh... Heal while isolating a tough enemy 1v1 if the fight goes bad seems super strong to you. It does seem... It definitely seems useful. No, the, the piety cost that it comes in at, I think it's actually a really solid ability. At least I'm not too worried about the archers. My reflection seems to be doing the mid. Ah, didn't mark me, alright. It'd be nice to have a little bit of fire resistance, because I think the lindworm damage can add up. I've definitely done balls before without fire resistance, so it's, uh, it's acceptable, the damage. Oh, if people are wondering why I did uh, do a stream with Tanner's Fugit today, he's uh, sick at the moment. Yeah, I, I forgot to mention that, but yep, yeah, he uh, did 
did let me know, so that was good. Didn't wonder where he was today. Uh, seems like it's his turn to be sick, because I got sick last week, but I still managed to stream if, uh, not the longest stream ever. I know it sounds like he's a lot more sick than I was. Uh, let's go get the theory to an agony on me again. Uh, Nineteen percent success on that one, unfortunately. Can I stop that game recalling? I don't think so. I don't even think getting out of uh, view there helps that much, but I didn't even recall anything. He got him sick. <laughs> the the virtual jobs just transferred the, through the computer, right? Oh, gloves of fusion. I still kind of terrible, but I don't know if I have gloves. <laughs> Do I try for some gloves of fusion? I mean, it's more damage, but less defense. I mean. <coughs> Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I think I do. I think I grab those. Oh, do you ever trade evasion on heavily armored characters? I should trade some of those characters. I don't usually bother, but I should get a little bit. Got 18 days. So yeah, I think getting like the first 5, 10, ah, 6 points. Go the first 6 points might be worth it. Oh, hey, Frederick. I wasn't expecting you. That's fine. Should we get anti magic? But okay, I don't have like a file flood or anything. I'm relying fairly heavily on that anti magic. I'll still be able to cast some spells, but the more I hit him, the more anti magic he gets stacked up on him, and the less he can do. Oh, what's that orb? It was conjuration and channeling. That's actually not terrible if you weren't into that. If you weren't like a want to get shield or something, and you want we're happy to use an orb. I've used the channeling orb before. Like they're okay. You definitely can make them work. I don't like this guy. How does my party back already? Okay, well that's fine. I'll just duel this guy. Separate it from the rest of them. I think that's fine. I'm kind of in the middle of this pack, which is unfortunate. Alright, so, oh, two enchanted uh, moments. I think my weapons magic will be enchanted, right? So I should definitely do my body army. Yeah, my weapons maxed out. I'll probably just be sticking with this weapon for the rest of the game. A quick blade of protectors is pretty decent. I don't know. I would have liked to be electrocution, but I'm fine with this. Let's get these a bit closer. Oh, it's broken. I was hoping to use the door to pull these guys in again, but it's not going to work if it's a broken door. I can give it a go, give it a plus five Vampiric Evening Star. Huh. I kind of like those armories. They're kind of cool, like the theme behind them. Oh, fire damage. Uh. Okay, put on a ring of fire instead of this one. Drink a potion of resistance and then buff up, I think. This is probably where I'm going to need to duel something, but uh, hey, I've got the Diaphil and Anti-Magic. It won't, uh... Teleport away from me quite as easy. Just get rid of that necromancer before it decides to uh, hit me with something too bad. This might not actually need a jewel. 
Although I'd be pretty much full health if I did duel. Oh, it's only half health. I guess it doesn't give you extra magic points back, does it, when you duel things? Which is maybe a little bit sad with a Vine Stalker in particular. Because they, some of their health is actually in their magic point bar. But still, alright. Alright, well, what do I do now? Go down, I guess. That's a lot of AC. Yeah, this crystal plate on board is a plus nine. It's doing the trick. It's protecting me, if it's even if it's not giving me resist. And with these mounted boots on for... I think this is fine. For the whole resist cold, I think I'm doing fairly well. He's got to get a poison fire resist from somewhere, and I should be good. Ooh, a helmet. Maybe that will help. It's a helmet of... Minus fire resist, plus seven tanks. Oh, come on. Minus fire resist? I don't even have fire resist. The wrong way around, it should be a plus fire this That would actually make that into a super excellent helmet. What do I need? I'm gonna get the invocations to 16. The nice thing about getting my invocations to 16 is it's um it's kind of like the first uh is a oh I should definitely be buffed here. Either eight um, spellcasting or six um, invocations give slightly more magic points than later on. And those guardians with their minds up are kind of terrifying because they can make you fragile, which it did at the end. And they can do a lot of damage to you. Oh, hey, X to her. Do I still. I'm still wearing the fire resist ring, which is not a generally a good thing, but. It actually does make sense against X to who, I think. In fact, it very much does. Hold on. Oh, he's got a paralysis. I should have actually... I should have done the enlightenment. I forgot to do that. I mean, he was almost dead. It seems a bit silly doing it at the end there, but I should have actually done that a bit earlier. What was the nobody where it's uh, this one? The resist negative, whatever. Slaying. Mainly for the slaying and decks, I think. Always love fighting a DCSS server. <laughs> It is kind of funny. It's a DCSS server on the other side of the world as well. So it would be a very laggy server. I don't know what that next to who I was fighting didn't look the most laggy, but should be. Do I have a bigger shield? I'm just kind of curious. It might be worth trying to step up my shield size. The buckler reflection, that's not going to be bigger. It's buckler, 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 orbs. More orbs. Okay, no, I do not. Well, that answers that question. It is not worth trading more shields to getting a bigger shield just yet. Oh, I can actually buff up here. This guy's got too many bolts that I'm not resistant to. Oh, is this a special one of those special hatch balls? Is it going to be like a hat in every room? Yeah, look at that. There's more hats in here. So there's a plus one hat of fire resist. Hey, magic points. Hey. Yeah, okay. I can lose. Actually, I don't even really lose that because I might. I probably do, actually. And also two slaying. Hey, okay. That's excellent. There's willpower one there, but I reckon I can keep my fire resist spot on. Magic points is really nice as mine. It's okay. That's the literal perfect hat. Yeah, I mean, it's basically got everything I need. Fire resist, slaying, magic points, that's the vine stalker lifestyle right there. I mean, the fire is not so much special to a vine stalker, just this character that needed it, but. No, that's definitely a hat of the vine stalker. What is it actually called? Hat of Dismantles of Supremacy. I was playing some Dismantles earlier today. <laughs> Felt like ages ago. I mean, it kind of was because I killed a few uh, vine stalkers in the meantime. Step back into here. Might stop the side creatures merging. What happened to them? They just gave up. Blood needs resist fire. I mean, that's true. I do, do need resist fire as a plant to not burn up. 
Oh, how is it? Uh, how's it been changed to duel? So when you duel, instead of getting a time after duel to heal up, what it does is when it, as soon as you go into the duel, you have uh, like 50% of your max health, more hit points, I think. But then once you leave the duel, you go back to your normal health. But it also costs a lot less. Oh, Death Metals changed. Death Metals is way better than the old one. Um, they they got their active abilities changed out, and they're better. I mean, their passive abilities technically got changed a bit, but they're pretty similar. So they're still like silencing and stuff, or oh, making you quieter, whatever it is. So you're still good for mages or whatever. But the the active abilities, they can now they can like puppeteer a spellcaster and make them cast their spells for you. And that was pretty fun on summoners. You can make them summon an army for you. I'm not going into box vault. That's a terrible idea. Um, what else do they do? Oh, you're back, Rogue. What happened to the demon trident guy? Unfortunately, I went into a... I can probably... Can I do spiders with that? Probably not. I went into a... What's it called? A gauntlet. And... It's... I guess I do some elves, but I'm not sure about this. I chose a path that had laughing skulls, and they absolutely obliterated me. In very little time, and that was the end of that character. Because I didn't have any resist negative. And I underestimated the laughing skulls, because I usually think of those guys not too bad, but that's because I usually meet them later on, I think. So yeah, I had, had to start a new character, but we've got a, got a short blade one here. Oh, that's good. Dismount kind of underpowered before. Yeah, then they've got another ability that uh, reduces your sight and the sight of your enemies to zero. But uh, it slowly grows back out to its normal size, but it's a great escape option. Like, often you could do that and just read a teleport and you're out of there, like if you're really badly wounded or something. And you don't always need to read a teleport. Like, sometimes you can just run for the stairs. And that would seem like pretty good, pretty good option. So I really like their active abilities more than the old one. Oh, they technically still have Shadow Step, but it's still kind of useless, honestly. <laughs> and you might be able to use it under very certain situations. Okay, Invocation's looking good. What do I get? I want to get Fighting up to 18. Trollblades can say where it is. I think Armor can go up as well. I won't do shields yet, because I don't have a big shield. Are you, uh... Got drained, like, 60 max HP from skulls just before it crept? Yeah, those guys... I don't know. I might... Usually find it quite later on, like, crept, right? They're not usually too bad, then. I think they're pretty strong. Without resist negative, yeah, because they, they actually do do a decent chunk. Especially if there's multiple of them together, where they get, like, the bonus damage from being together or whatever it is. Or you change the disc bonus in 8 days to use each disc ability at least 20 times. That sounds nice, yup. I reckon that's, I reckon that's doable. I reckon you'd probably get enough piety for that. And it would really give you a feel for the new disc metals abilities. Ultimate oh, War, I suppose, resist, uh... I gotta put that on a rig. Shame. What am I using for dead from cold? It's doing this ice. Wait, did the guy just blow himself up with damnation? Usually, creatures that aren't uh, resistant to damnation will consider themselves tough enough. They would blow themselves up. I don't think I do Hall of Blades. I might get like a secondary quick blade, but I don't think so. I think I'll just uh, do the next level. So we've got a hat. We've got a gloves. My gloves are good, right? Infusion. Maybe not. They're okay. My hat was good though, right? My hat is perfect. I was fired with this magic points and a couple of slang. I'll try the gloves. <laughs> Look at that. Plus two gloves of fusion. They're identical to what I've got on. Never mind. What's in this ghost vault? There should be a ghost, right? There they are. Standing at the bank. So we've got 
the lasers ghost got a radiant arc job for 136 damage. 1d136. Summon lightning spire shock for 1d50. I do have a resistant electric though. Or, uh, best way to have time to do a 50 star star run this week, so there will only be six left with perfect scores. Wait, what's, uh, what's the best up to this week? I guess, uh, that's a bit of a shame not having time to get a run out. You open the door to 60 of them, wait. I presume that's not referring to ghosts as telling roses. We only had room to 60, no, six ghosts or something would be absolutely terrifying. I feel like that's talking about something else. Oh, that's scary. I might just buff him a little. Could I just silence these guys? Not a very big silence aura. I don't want to run up too much. That's probably enough. Let's just retreat back. Alright, it's got this just basic rapiers. It's not even got speed ones or anything, unfortunately. Oh, next week has a fun challenge you had. I kind of want to try it. Which, which is the next week's one? Because there's... Who is left to go? I should know. Oh, laughing skulls. You open it to six laughing skulls, right? Yeah, no, that would absolutely destroy you. What's their, what's their max number for, like, well, the, the number they do manage damage? It must be around there somewhere. No, that would absolutely be terrifying. I don't want the escape hatch. I want a real staircase. Yeah, whatever. I'll just rest up here. That's kind of scary with my health. Maybe we should have jeweled someone. I think I go jewel this guy. It's questionable, but I'm gonna take the escape hatch. Okay, well, it's fine. It could have been Hall of Blades, and then I would have had to be trying to escape the Hall of Blades, which would have been a little bit of a pain. Oh, it's a Blocula, the Ocula. Makes sense. Okay, no, that makes sense. That was one of the ones to go. I kind of forgot what they all are, but yeah, definitely Blockula makes sense. And it wasn't Zack one of the other ones, it was like Blockula and Zack, one of the ones I kind of vaguely remember. Well, I vaguely remember Zack. Uh, didn't remember Blockula. Okay, Levels of Banishment, I might try to fix that, but I don't have many... I have many potions to fix my willpower. Alright, what's in here? There's gotta be some more guys. There's one more guy. Again, with a plus zero rapiers, it's not doing so well with it. Needs some more highly enchanted ones, I think. I got some gloves of Dex. Dex is probably better. Let's try them on. So I got 80 evasion, 21 shield. Wait, really? 8 evasion, 21 shield? I was surprised the shield didn't go up even if the evasion didn't. Speaking of which, I might get a little bit more dodgy. I might just bring this up to like, it's 12 too much. I might give it a try. Don't usually want the dates. I think I'll get rid of the infusion. I mean, it's fine. Just, uh, it doesn't quite work in the fight. So good strength, or maybe it does, because you get the magic points back all the time. I just don't think I'll go with it. Uh, plus two boots of harm, two slag. I don't really want the harm. Now I got the mountain boots. I think I keep those on. They're my only cold resist right now. Two slag is nice, but no, the rest of those don't make sense. Oh, that's a vampire spell gun to Bjork. That sounds like a decent challenge. We'll see how it goes, though. I feel like vampires don't make terrible spellcasters, though. They, I don't really know what they're good at, though. Do I want a face? Maybe. If I use the faith, it would be mainly for title purposes rather than nothing else, but I guess I could go grab a amulet of faith. Um, buffed up because these guys could do a lot with their crystal spear. 
And I'm kind of chasing them around because they don't really have anything else to really kill them off. Or felt like a big upgrade in DPS when you put them on uh, the infusion. Oh. <sighs> Banished. Maybe it is. Maybe it would make sense to have that on, but... How much damage is it? I'm not sure if it's a worthwhile raid. It might be, because I do so many attacks, it probably... Probably does get a lot of chances to do some infusion. Minus two strength, all right. I'll end up there. Okay. It's like the man, like God who priest and everything after me, but I might just grab this rune. Did that just fly? I think it's hitting me with chaos or something. Oh, no tentacle. I should. I mesmerized? How do I stop that? Wait, what? Why can't I? Oh, I can't exclude the abyss. That's a shame. Uh. It's up to it's up to plus four damage with it, right? But it's rude, let's go, yeah, I got the rune. Uh Aroka wants to do a get a rooted batch for the whole brunch? Wait, the whole brunch as a challenge. Interesting. As a uh, but your Beog. No, wait, that would have to be I guess you got the apostles. You think duel the guy? I mean I don't think there's anything else I can do. I think you're completely right. I gotta duel this guy, don't I? Wait, what? That's not where I was before. Is the gateway leading out? No. I'm confused while just someone on there, but what is the what is the arc blade anyway? This rapier falls into the quick blades, right? Scott's uh, static discharge on a resist electric. I got the resist electric already. I'm not sure if that's worthwhile. I'm gonna get sick, aren't I? Yeah. Arc blade is kind of interesting. It is a short blade. So it is kind of interesting. I'm just not sure. How's this damage look? 20 something. Uh, 26 damage at 0.5 attack delay. This is 21 damage times 2 at a 0.5 attack delay. I feel like I lose out on damage. I don't need the resist electric. Man, I wish I could wait off the sickness. Would be nice. Oh. No, I can't actually be a fungus here, can I? I might have to cancel that one up. Because otherwise I get obliterated by the cold damage guy. Oh, what a mechanic given. Come on. Uh, low magical capacity, that's not very nice for that guy. I kind of wanted my magical capacity. Okay, but I think I got it back, thankfully. Oh, you get the static discharge or whatever, though? That's true, you do. I don't know how much it does, but it might be decent. But I also lose out on the protection, so... I don't know how much the static discharge does, it might be worth it. Random arc blade on abyss floor. I mean, it's kind of crazy, yeah, just finding a random arc blade. Some stage of business is going to surely spit me out. Hey, there we go. It spat me out, finally. All right, well, that wasn't too bad. I mean, I was going to holy buddy. But anyway, they got me a... I don't think I was quite finished on the level. Got me a rude. Got the Alvin rude, <laughs> as a matter of speaking. Okay, well, where do I go now? There's scale mail or objectivity at the resist points on. Is there anything that I can use? It's a heavy rapier. Come on. I guess I gotta do the spider this, but I'm not feeling massively confident in this. Does this guy have a, it's got a, an acrobat? It's got a dream charge. 
I think I wear that. I know the dream check got enough, but like I don't have a massively great now. This reflection, which is fine, it's actually decent, but I think the dex makes sense on this character. All right, let's go grab a dream shot. Yeah, let's just put it on. All right, well, I'm, I guess, living the dream here and something. Uh, oh, hey, Mio Glottal. I might bring him upstairs. I might just speed up my attacks as well. Oh, he just absolutely died. Oh, the Arc Blade could be good as spider nest. These spiders around you. I'll give it a try. Wait. Oh, there's an arc. It doesn't always do an arc. It just sometimes does an arc. I don't know if that's worthwhile. I might just go with my... Wait, yeah. Do I need, like, some skill to make an arc more? Like, evocations or something? It occasionally unleashes powerful arcs of lightning upon striking a foe. The arc may be to other adjacent creatures, including the wielder, but deal reduced damage to them before grounding out. It doesn't give a skill that it uses. It says that it occasionally does it. Can I draw this dude? I don't know if it's worthwhile. Oh, hey, put me behind the orb. Well, that's something at least. Oh, Jake, the chance is just a straight 33% chance, is it? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's roughly the same damage as normal rapier of electric, usually against a single target, making it a good weapon in its own right. Now, I think I keep my quick blade. I really like this quick blade. Well, it makes sense that it would be good against a group of creatures. Ooh, what's the shield? Plus three kite shield. Hey, poison resist. I, what was my shield anyway? It was a plus two kite shield. Okay, well, I might as well put on the poison resist one. I mean, this one can't be enchanted, but I don't think I'm ever going to have to spare enchant number to enchant it anyway. I should get more strengths, maybe. I don't know. Actually, not 100% sure what makes sense at the moment. Oh, you had to, you know, to read console DCSS to figure out what it does or something. A lightning rod? I don't think I need the flame. I don't need the enchant weapon anymore. Oh, got two enchant armor, would I? I look if I had these. Just enchant up my armor. 51 armor class feels pretty good to me. Oh, it's always nice having over 50 of uh, um, defense. Even if my shield isn't quite where it used to be, it's still 17. Uh, it's nice having a little bit of acrobat for when I need to reposition, because sometimes I have to reposition to get into a, well, get up to a fight or something. Oh, that's a, wait, that's a challenge there? Which challenge is this? This is not private, okay. Sure. Okay, can I just load it anyway? Not like I'm gonna give it any sense of information or setting. Uh I'll figure out how to get into that one later on. Ugh. That's a cure here. Wait, that's it HTTPS? Why is it complaining? Was HTTPS, unless I redirected or something. Huh. Apparently, it's uh, just airing out for some reason. Or should I send the old link or something? Yeah, I don't know why that was airing out, but hey. Sometimes websites are like that, I guess. <laughs> It's an ice cave here. I want to do that. I want to just magic map and get straight to it. Can I just chase after this guy? I guess the uh, acrobat doesn't really help when chasing that guy down. Oh, you got a connection and not is just it's not a oh, private error for that link as well, Sally Roses. Yeah, I don't know why it's uh, it seems to be complaining something about the HTTPS is not working properly. Why do I have a great miss? I must have actually picked it up. 
don't need the regen. I don't need the reflection. Well, I'll keep the reflection. If my uh, blade pops or something, while my amulet pops, I can swap on the other one. I don't need the brilliance. All right, that should hopefully be enough space. Go ahead and see what we get. Lots of ice things make sense. I got the one core resist, I think. I got one of lots of things. Yeah, with a bit of uh, Heroes mod, or Finesse on, I mean, Heroes mod don't use much anymore. It did the trick. How do I even get up to that statue is the problem. I guess I just run like anyone else. Oh, that could be a problem. I think I run back and get rid of these guys. Okay, that's a decent way to run to get to that one. Oh, that's the uh, that's the original one. Ah, uh, that's the old uh, Jory the Bloodstained Count. Don't you the shield? Amulets of reflection are fine. At least ten base strength, forty then. What is this guy? Find the entrance to the tomb. Get a rune while oh while a batch from for the time you are in that rune branch, except if you need to uh add your batch form to rest or something. Hold on, let me bring this one up. Yeah, okay. Uh case something finds you while you are resting, you are not allowed to affect other creatures except with scrolls or god abilities when not in bat form. The Abyssal and Pandemonium runes are not applicable for this challenge. The Slimy rune isn't either if you are following Jeeva. I guess that's fair enough, actually. Get the figure out of the Vizigarine and win the game. You can use it at any time after collecting it, but you do not have to. That actually reads me difficult because you gotta go. Well, you gotta get the Golden rune and everything. What gods are you allowed? Oh, any god. Earth Elementals, Brigands, Gladiator, okay. Actually, yeah, having any god on that one makes it maybe a little bit easier. Uh, definitely interesting, the, the whole bat challenge. I guess there's multiple various kinds of bat challenges on DCSS. People seem to really like their bats. Do I need to stuff the Exalted Yaks? Transmigration Necromancy? I don't think so. I got a Tau Shield for when I want to upgrade my shield. I don't need a Hand Axe or Venom Resist. What is Resist called? Nope, I think I'm done here. Oh, that wasn't too bad, though. I've tried to, like, uh, do a backlab, backlab, uh... Wait, why can't I see Visible anymore? Was I ever able to see it? I guess I just revealed it was Scroll of Revelations before. I probably wasn't. I tried like the Maglev one where you become a bat of Maglev and then you do the whole game as a bat. And I got to, I think, Vaults was my best game. And then I like went down a staircase and ended up next to Menace. And because I was a vampire, I got like one hit or something. It was a really sad way of losing the character. <laughs> Yeah, I think I tried going back up the staircase, but he had a pull up and just stabbed me on the way up and I died. <laughs> but, I don't know, that character felt kind of doomed because they had no resists. They would have probably struggled. Well, they had a few resists, but they would have struggled to go into Zod stuff. If by some miracle they made it that far. Because the Maclev's, like, minor destruction carries you through the first, like, land branches and stuff. And then things start getting a bit more difficult after that. Oh, hey, Asterion. Speaking of Maclev. Uh... Wait, is that Zack as well? I think it's my first time seeing Zack here. He's got a Kite Shield. He's got Venabold. Formative Prism. Oh, he's got Formative Prism. Let's bring, uh... Let's bring Asterion upstairs, definitely. All right, Zack. You gotta follow me up. And Mara. Oh, and Jorgrun as well. Who doesn't want four uniques on the same level, right? Oh, don't distract me. I'm probably gonna have to find another staircase, honestly. Because <laughs> that one's kind of got a lot of guys on it. Let's go. Um, the gang's all here. The gang sure is. Oh, hey, Mara. 
Oh, I can't be getting constricted while trying to find Mara. That makes it harder to bring him upstairs. Oh, is this Azel? Hey, Azel. I still got my finesse on from, like, the other uniques. Is that Azrael as well, or...? Hey, Azrael. <laughs> Welcome to the gag, I guess. Um... Oh, Jorgrad found his way to me. Because Jorgrad has, like, I don't know if it's anchor location or what it is, but he can see through walls, so he often can find his way to you. Alright. Jorgrad's dead. Good. That's another one down. What is going on? It just uniques. Nothing but uniques. That's all I've got to find today. <laughs> I guess it's still uh, normal, guys. Oh, Mara's around? Because that's an illusion of me. Uh, where is Mara? There he is. I'm gonna buff up and try to take him out quick. I got the anti-magic on him. Yeah, as soon as I got the anti-magic on him, it was, uh, definitely made his life harder. Oh, hey, Nicola. I think I might read the side. Yeah, I was thinking of buffing up, but I think I just read the silence. How is he meeting you here, Nicola? He's got an electrocution rapier. Yeah, he does. That's what I would expect of him. All right, well, next level, at least I got half my uniques used up now. <laughs> That's probably the rune. I might just explore some, some more of this level first. Okay, another rapier electrocution. I got the arc blade if I wanted a rapier electrocution. Uh, get into the corridor. It seems like the sensible thing to do. If the game's going to give me one, I might as well make use of it. What can I do to a ghost moth? My anti-magic, does this draining gaze uh, even a thing I can, like, anti-magic? I'm not even sure how that works. It might be. guess it doesn't really matter. Although it kind of does. Draining gaze is nasty. It's kind of straight up draining my hit points, effectively. Oh, why did I sit for the net? That was mildly dumb of me, but it didn't get me, thankfully. Otherwise, that could have been bad. Could have cost a blinky or something if I got stuck in a net. Yeah, the place on the other staircase uh, must have been the way down. I'm gonna throw. Oh, like, can I just pull this guy around the corner? That might work better than trying to throw some boomerangs at it, actually. Or look at the ghost ball, seeing if it's draining gaze. I don't know, sure. It must count as a spell, right? Because it's the only thing it actually does. Right. This is the other side of that vault. I can't remember the guy that webs me up. There we go. There's another dude here that also webs me up. Oh, come on. Don't want to be webbed. I gotta kill that guy that webs me again, the Joro Gummo. But there's also a spider's that web as well. There's a ghost moth here. Whoops. Coco Berserk, except it didn't. What would a berserk ghost moth would be like? That sounds kind of terrifying, actually. I definitely draining magic from the ghost moths. Maybe I do anti magic them. That would explain how I was able to drain some magic from one. Oh, whoops. Uh, let me just duel this dude. I don't mean not worthy to be duelled. Come on. Okay. Well, can I duel this dude? I see a dude there. There's definitely a dude there. Let's draw the orb spider. Get rid of that one. Good. That just snapping out as soon as I finish is super confusing. But I'll get used to it eventually. I think that jewel's pretty good, but the fact that they can't jewel things that are not worthy is still definitely a problem because some. 
things that are not worthy can be quite a problem. But it feels more like it's fitting its uh, desired potential of picking off um, creatures that you really want to die, like, immediately. I could just bring this guy around the corner, not that maybe not. All right, there's my third rune, apparently, because I've got the Abyssal rune already. So I'm all ready to go to Zod, except I've still got, like, depths and stuff to do. I might also try for some other runes with this character as well. I don't know. I don't think I'll just leave it at the three. Could be another four rune gain effect. Could be the same four runes as last time. Let's go to depths. How far is this going? They're, like, passable. My AC is going well, my uh, feed has gone up a little bit. They might have stopped dodging at 10, I think that's more than enough. I'd rather have armor skill, I think, at this point. Also, I should check what uh, titles I've had with Vine Soakers. Um, See if I can get an Okawari one or something. I've had, oh, I've had five soccer alarms. I think that's the Okawari one. I probably could just get a general Okawari one, which would be a bit of a shame. If I had a, if I had the shields one. Storting, okay, that's a different god. I could just get out of like a random Quasar one or something. <laughs> like a uh, five soccer mishap or whatever it is, if I wanted to. But that would definitely be one where you switch on the orb run to... Yeah, I don't know. But either way, my invocation is also plus zero. I was just thinking I was going to say it was pretty high, but I guess it's not perfectly high. So I'm going to have to go slightly out of my way to get a title. Although I do think I will have the skill points. What have we got? Curing? I'm quite good with those. Uh, mutation? I might grab. I don't know how I would lignification. I'm probably actually good. I might not need that one. I got nine. Yeah, I didn't need that one. I have uh, I have a feeling I'm not going to get through nine lignifications with this character. It feels nice if we get Acrobat on, at least if I uh, die, I've got like one turn to do something, it brings me back for one turn. Uh, that looks like it needs a bit of buffs. It's still not great, but at least it gives me an extra turn. Okay. Who summoned that dude, the brain? I think I can just fight up to the brain normally. There's no need to, like, uh, duel the brain or anything there, but that's definitely a way of getting rid of it. How good is this guy petrifying, paralyzing me? 6%. I finesse up, but it's not, like... Perfectly, what I'm trying to do it does give me some anti magic on it, so it effectively reduce that chance a bit, but it's not great. Right, let's go downstairs again. I kind of hoping for like a town shield or poison resist, but I don't think the chance of one of those is very high. Just uh, or. I would have ranked against Poison Resistant also to the trick. And then I could put it on any sort of shield, like a tower shield or something. Man, this hat's doing so much work with the fire resist against me. Against all these guys that do fire damage. No, I'm glad I got this all. So, Chantress, he's got a, got a plus one buckler of fire resist and a fairy dragon that was minus, Tally. 
It's probably too late for me anyway. I think my uh, arm is better. I'm out of willpower potions, aren't I? What's that quick blade? It's plus six quick blade of freezing. I reckon my potential is probably better. I could probably make someone out though if I wanted to. There's another quick blade just there. There's a plus two quick blade of draining. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is a full on collection of quick blades. Surprised I don't need to really draw the thing because I'm staying nice and healthy, so there's no point. I was not doing more damage with the explosion. I guess it's reduced heavily by my armor class because it's like uh, shrapnel damage. I think that is that triple checks AC or something. And I got a got a good chunk of AC. Oh, not that way. Obviously the other way, but it's going to set off the trap anyway. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I could have done much to stop that trap getting set off. All right, depths not yeah, depths too done. For some reason, the electric dragons always look really scary to me because I'm used to not having really resist electric, and it's like, well, this character is basically the one resist I've had the entire game. Why did I even get that from? I got it from my cloak, right? Makes sense, I guess. And I had a ring for it, but I think I dropped that ring because I never got to wear it. Unless I find some other better cloak, in which case I probably would wear it. Yeah, that's not a huge level. Level 23 is it? Was it? It's... No, it's probably about right, because I got the depths to do, and then I got a, the Vault's Fire or the Slime Bits to do, which I don't have to do either of those, but I probably do want to do some. Uh, let's just get armor up to 20. I want to get some more fighting. Fighting can go to 20 as well. I'm with a minus 2 attitude. I mean, that's about right. Okay. Uh, I get the straw blades up to... I don't know if it'll help that much, but I might do 16. See if it even gets me a point of damage, because I do 21 damage right now. I don't know, it might give me another point, it might not. I need a strike, I should probably buff up versus one of those. Because I don't believe, I, yeah, I'm missing the resist corrosion, and I don't believe I can get it. Oh, I do have a ring of willpower now, would I get that one? It doesn't really matter. I probably won't put it on, but I, I do have one that I can put on. In situations where I need it, I could probably swap it on. Alright, that looks good. Let's go down. Could rebrand some of those other quick blades I got and chart them up if I want to try for electrocution, but I quite like the protection. Just having a ridiculous armor class seems to be this character's thing. Yeah, so while moving, I get buffed up evasion, and then when I stand still and attack things, I get the buffed up armor class. Should be fine, right? I got my finesse on, so my magic points are staying nice and good. Now that the dragons are even nice, they gave gold dragon armor. It's a good thing I've got crystal blade armor already, and I'm not looking for the gold dragon armor. First of the walls, they do a bit of bonus damage, I think. It's not like the other walls, which don't really seem to do anything. But they get triple tank my armor class. I think the crystal ones actually do enough to get through. Alright, how's that fighting going? It's going up a little bit. I just feel like, uh, what am I effectively on? But effectively on 177 health, which is still, I mean, it's more than springing, but kind of still feels low. <laughs> yeah, definitely, like, I need to work on the fighting a bit. I guess I'm constantly regenerating, but still, it's, uh, this stuff that doesn't always matter. Sometimes you just take a chunk of damage. I think I actually should buff up here. 
Because there's the guy, that I means this guy, the shifter. He the shift me or shifts enemies around me. If it didn't actually do as bad things, but I still think it was the right thing to buff up, especially since my Piney seems to have maxed itself out again. I should be able to be flayed by flayed ghosts, but the last two ones I've seen haven't flayed me. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, I don't really have any theories by my wife. That, that's funny, the wizard blew itself up with a fireball because it uh, was invisible and it couldn't see itself. So it didn't avoid itself with the fireball. Anyway, let's uh, Charlie Crystal play now to plus 12. I always find it funny how enemies will blow themselves up if they can't see themselves. Like, you surely they know which space they want. Alright, but I might do false 5, I think. How's the willpower? A little sketchy. Um, Make it a little less. Hold up. Go buy the actual proper willpower, I think. So that resists electric, but I don't need it. Uh, what do I need? I've got... I don't know if I really need to keep the Zark Blade on me, but apparently I've got an acquirement here, so it's giving me... Ooh, a Ring of Ten Evasion, a hand cannon, or magical throwing. Wait. I think I want some evasion, actually. Give me that. Alright, well, I can probably drop the protection wherever that is. Um, yeah, Ten Evasion is just way better. All right. So, I always feel like swapping out the resist negative slag one with this one. Um, honestly, okay, well, I should probably put on the willpower instead of protection when I'm down in Vaults 5, just so I don't get marked or anything. Oh, we do have an escape hatch. Excellent. Let's just go down and see what I've got. I have lots of magic mapping. That's six of them. Sure. I'll see where I am. It's probably got a chance of marking me still though. Three percent? Yeah. It's low, but still. Didn't quite get rid of it. It's gonna be a little bit harder than uh ooh, that's a lot of guys. I just buff up. A little bit harder than when I did this as a dismetals character, because uh dismetals is uh it's like quietness was actually really helpful for doing this area because you can kind of just sneak around and kill everyone. Or as I'm pulling in some stuff, but this is actually, this seems to be doing it the enemies, no problems. And as a fight, so I think I get a little bit of regen, which is kind of nice. What actually is my regen? 1.2 something a turn? Yeah, definitely got a little bit of extra bonus regen in there because that's not going to be like natural regen. Is it like the first level of the regen mutation or something? What is it? So yeah, first out of three levels. So it's not usually fast, but it's enough to make a bit of a difference. That's the Moth of Wrath. Um, it's got to kill the guys around me. That's a ship shapeshifter. Uh, I've got plenty of pine. Have you just got to draw the guy that summoned in that thing? There we go. I mean, that's an easy enough way to get rid of those. And it doesn't feel too bad doing that now that the pine cost has been reduced a bit. I mean, it's still not perfect, but I don't feel too bad at least. Okay, the boots. I've got the good boots. i got the mounted boots. I'm glad I found those. Well, bought those out of it. Well, I guess it's kind of both. Glad I found them in a shop and was able to buy them. What I got here? It's like a javelin or something. Silver javelin, because uh, Okumaru has been giving me those. Okay, plus two shield. I've still got the plus three shield of resist poison. Which is honestly probably my end game shield. As much as I like to get a bigger shield, I don't think I can replace the poison resist very easily. And also, it's probably. I would have to get more skill as well if I were to replace it, so it's not exactly free replacing it. Ooh, is that a requirement for me? It's got 
Resist cold willpower, but it drains you to take it off. And a resist negative and a flight. Um, I think that's the only thing on there. Let's go. The quick blade of venom is whatever. But. It does drain you when you take it off, right? But I might actually put it on. A cold resistance is all right. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I might. It means I won't be able to wear the potential or something, but oh well. Yeah. That's where this look fine. Shame because I actually that part would be a ring that I might want to swap, but oh well, I'll go with this one for now. It's only the right one to have it on here. Do you have eight resistance potions? So that's gonna help with the orbs of fire. I might just have to kind of rely on the resistance potions to kill the orbs of fire. The anti magic's also oh that teleport is fine. The anti magic's also really nice for orbs of fire because it, uh well they can't exactly do anything with the anti magic. Well they can they and because the anti magic doesn't stop them casting it just reduces the health when they do it. But all their attacks rely on casting, so it's really nice to anti magic up an orb of fire. Oh, that little shield, just a plus zero tower shield. Uh, all right. I'm not gonna restart that guy recall. Like I said, I'm just gonna buff up and kill whatever comes along. Okay, they got the upgrade to all double swords, sure. Does that even help this dude? I guess it does, right? Whoo! 90 damage and 30 damage. Ooh. I think I better kill that guy first. I could have drawn the armory. That would be another option instead of trying to kill that guy first. But I guess killing that guy first is the trick. That would have been the option if I uh, didn't do so well. Like if the guy got a big head on me, drawing the armory would have been the option. Bit late for the vile floods now, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's still useful. But I've already fought all my uniques in the spider's nest, so. Uh, pretty much every single one of them actually was just on that one level of the spider's nest, too. I haven't seen many uniques outside of that. I don't think I've even got the ev evocations. I don't think I'll pick out the Trevor Stones. They kind of do require some evocations. They're not bad, but. Oh, this character hasn't really done the evocations. Alright, well, I've got one more corner of my map to go, and then I should be done with the vaults, I think. Well, then I got to, like, tidy everything up afterwards, just, like, auto-explore, tidy up sort of thing. What is up with this guy? Roots? Okay. Is this guy Roots as well? No, it's that two are dots. Thank goodness. Go over the, go over the Roots, dude. There it's gotta go because you can often just step back and get another choke point if you don't have one properly. Alright, well, this my... Is that my fourth rune? It should be. And it's even real, it is my fourth rune. I think I can just auto explore now. Really don't need the positive energy. I'm actually kind of wearing a thing of positive energy right now. It wasn't the intent. And it's mainly for the willpower and stuff. Alright. Oh, Chant Armor, I can still put that on my Crystal Plate Armor, there we go. I need one more and I should get my Crystal Plate Armor maxed out. Alright, well I'm done with Balls 5, got my 4 runes. I think it's just time to go to Zot. Yeah, I mean, there really isn't anywhere else to go, right? Alright, okay. Wait, another requirement? This is a crazy game with the requirements, I might just put on a bit of heroism before I go down. Alright. Worried about them all like building up their breaths. So I'm gonna try bringing them into a corridor. That seems to be going right. I actually do have 21 evasion, which is kind of nice. 
But that's mainly because of that ring that they put on the game of ages. That, uh, that's not on PS1 anymore. It's a scintillating statue, which I don't think you can pick up or anything. It just kind of sits there and does its thing. I don't need to grind tell us, but what else is there? Ring of points for the strength. Nah. That would only be if I would swap shields, and I've actually got some pretty good rings now. I might draw my Ike Blade. I mean, that looked interesting, but I don't think I'll use it. Whoa, three of these guys? Oh, that's a lot of guys. I think this is fine with my... Okay, I'm getting slowed. I'm gonna draw this guy, but... I think I've actually got to duel these guys, otherwise they're going to both be able to get me with the irradiate, which I'm kind of worried about. Where did the jeweled guys end up, though? Like, where did I split these guys out? Did I split them out into the jewel? Because that would be kind of hilarious. I might have actually stopped that guy pulling out its, uh, things by dueling it. I wonder whether dueling the royal jelly would be, like, an actual legit strategy now. Like, if you join the Royal Jelly Killer, do you not have to fight, like, the little jelly that spawns out anymore? I mean, you might lose a few javelins or something, whatever, because you'll probably need javelins or something to kill it. But it'd be funny if it's an actual legit strategy now, instead of just cut something the way you are. Uh, like a troll thing that people suggest to do. Oh, oh I really love Trap, of course. Um, hold up. If I just do a Revelations, let's see. It's not really a place for me to dig, is there? I might just bring one of these upstairs, but I think I'm just going to have to stand on these guys for a little while. Surprised they guy didn't constrict me. I was only thinking I'd have to duel the um, technical monstrosity. But I guess they're not 100% on the constraint, so they only do it sometimes. Usually at the worst possible times. Ah, there we go. That's why constricting me. That's not a surprise. Oh, wait. Once I ace my duel, do I end up in a slightly random spot? No, I end up right back here. Okay, that's good. It was probably just a shifter before that made it seem like that. All right, what's next? Another cloud for me to fight. This hand made me fragile, which is fine because there's not much left. Um, get invocations to 21. I, I, I'm I going for a invocation. So I don't have to decide exactly which one I'll go for, but I can always get an Okawaru one if I need to. If I don't need to, I can get a Quasla one, I guess. I don't know. This has got to be something I can go for. Because I know I haven't gone through all the Okawari ones yet. This is fine. I'm going to sit here and fight these guys. Just get rid of the one that's going to do acid on me because that's the resist I'm missing. Oh, hey, I'm on fire. Minus 8 Corrosion. I'll do a cancellation, but... Oh, it's just shout. Okay, it's probably fine. I'm usually pretty solid with my attack, so it's a little bit of a shame. How many mutations do I have? Nine. I probably won't reset those. What's the other negative one? Minus two strands. Maybe I should. Yeah, that's probably fine. No, it's, I think it's too much of a chance of making them worse than having to go through like five or more mutation potions just trying to desperately reset them. I think that's a silly idea. That just connects up an escape hatch, doesn't it? I guess you could dig into there, but I think I'm just going to leave it. I don't need to do that piece of the level. Capital Q, there we go. How many uh, blinking? I've got tons of blinking. I've got 11. I've got fear if I need it. I guess I go with blinking. That's usually fairly important. I might go with digging, though. Yeah, I have 26 of those. Hey, level 25. I don't think I'm going to max that level. I reckon I'll be level 26 by the end of the game, which seems to be the spot where I'm ending a lot of games recently. Just not quite maxing out. Oh, hey, Pudget. 
I definitely got to finesse up. It feels wrong not mirroring him up, but I'm not allowed to mirror, okay? I think with the finesse on, yeah, he can't fast enough. So he's got plus six gold dragon armor. That's like way less protective than what he got, right? Uh, should be able to examine it. If I put it on, I lose like 10 AC. I do get a poison resist, a cold resist, a fire resist, but I don't think that's going to matter at this point. Yeah, like even pre enchanted it just doesn't quite compete anymore. Ooh. How far can I dig this way? I can dig at least two spaces, right? Yep, okay. Like I can go behind me, but I think it's the last creature here. So, oh, it wasn't quite the last creature there, but it doesn't really matter. Um, if there's nothing else tough along, coming along. Two guys in damnation. Uh, gotta pull these guys around the corner. Because they won't do damnation as long as I Oh, they will do damnation when I'm next to their friends. They're not resistant to it. Usually they don't like to do that. Usually they don't want to hurt their friends, but I guess um, I guess that nowadays they, they might be keen on hurting their friends. Because I, I know they, they'll definitely hurt weaker friends, but... Oh. Huh. Alright, Zod 2 done. Next level! Only, what, three levels of Zod to go, I think? Uh, definitely magic map. Wait. Constricted, but there's like a perfect choke point, like pre dug over here. I just wanted to hide in it. I don't know if I've actually had a gold dragon drop gold dragon armor. Wait, is that the third crystal plate armor? <laughs> that's the third crystal play that I've ever seen in this game. They've all been plus zero, but uh, that's crazy because you get a lot of games where you don't find any crystal play that i and just this one is like, oh, hey, I have three suits of crystal play that but why not? <laughs> oh, this guy can kind of just stand there doing its thing. Why just buff up? There we go. Now I can finally get rid of the guy. Stop it. Standing there. This is... Maybe fine. If I stand here and go upstairs... Okay, it's fine. That was one interesting teleport, though. Putting me right next to a staircase, but also next to every creature, basically. Uh, I wish it was like uh, Spiring Flash and it was a bit more easy to tell what they were turning into. But I guess you can't really have like a unique sprite for like everything they turn into. I don't know. It'd be nice if you could. But uh, yeah, it's sometimes it, you, like, it does tell you. But if uh, I feel like if you mouse over them, it should also tell them or like examine them. Like if I do that to examine a guy, it should tell me what it is. I mean, that's not exactly the mouse because I'm using the keyboard, but whatever. Uh, do I lignify? Yeah. I lose my, like, magic restoring bite, which is a bit of a shame. But I go from one sort of plant to another sort of plant, right? Oh, wait, this is barely doing any damage. Because now I'm just doing quick blade damage instead of bite damage. It's way worse. I don't know if that makes any sense in the future to lignify against those guys. I mean, if it's just one of those guys, I can definitely kill it while lignified, so it does make sense. I don't know, it probably does. But I definitely got to make to try to separate them because I'm useless while lignified. What's that? Trap spam? Okay. It looks like a useless mob, but looks smaller than normal. It's like it's around all the traps into a smaller area. And it's um, artifact boots and uh, what? A scroll blinking in here. There's also Plog's Ghost, Troll Fighter of Oak Wire. They've got lots of ACs, so I presume they're gold dragon armor. Makes sense at this point in the game. <laughs> and of course they do like 50 damage, but pretty much every troll apart from really early game ones is going to do like 50 damage. 
Because that's a uh, max damage that the creature can do. Oh. I get a ghost monster though. Oh well. See how the ghost moth like having its magic points drained? Because I think I did manage to drain some of my magic points back off that ghost moth. Uh, no, I think I've got a buff. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, like, basically just uh, stuck at five pips of piety, which is where you usually stick on most gods. Um... Probably for that initial push to get up to six pips so you get gifted stuff. I think my, I got gifted the Quake Blade, right? So my gifts were pretty good this time round. I don't think the armor was anything special, though. That was a bit of a shame. But it's good, at least go getting a Quake Blade, because those can be hard to find naturally. I mean, yeah, I did find them to, like, depths, I think, naturally. Oh, good. Max out my Crystal Blade armor. That feels good. What, 54 armor class? Yeah, 54 armor class is amazing. Especially when you combine it with like uh, 21 evasion. I can't get a willpower, can I? No, I can't. Oh, but I have more willpower now because I have the ring, so this guy can't uh, can't get me with a uh, torment anymore, thankfully. Or agony rage or whatever it's technically called. Oh, so that's a full-on library. I mean, I don't really care about the spells. I got Death Star, Fortress Revocation and Confusing Touch, Necrotize, Chain Lightning, Fire Storm, Shatter, Dazzling Flash, Fulsome, Fusillade, Starburst, a Fake Book, Viara's Passage of Galabria. Oh, they're gonna even got a Blink. I mean, the Blinking matters. I might just buff up. I should be able to anti-magic this guy, but if I have to, I'll get it with a Silence. Actually, I might just get it with a Silence. Don't see anything. In fact, I know the guy's here. <laughs> As I know something the game is not letting on uh three scrolls with Chad Dharma. Um Oh they actually enchant at this point in the game. Oh right, of course I'm gonna wait off the sounds before I go check if there's anything. I know it's an orb set, it's all it's just one for being and Zod so that makes it like slow to type one. Yeah, I don't have nothing to chart right now. Okay. But a shield would be an option, but... There's only one level of the dungeon left. I don't think you're going to worry about it. Okay, I'll string the resistance. Speed up my attacks. I should be able to kill this all and fire, no problems. And it gave me no new mutations, which is a good sign. So I got, uh, got the magic mapping... Hey, the trap layer looks a little bit better. I can probably go on this side. There's teleport traps, so that's not much else. Yeah, that side looks pretty good. I can see a few alarm traps around there, but hopefully I can avoid setting those off. Hey, got some magic magic on it. Yeah, the orbs of fire don't seem too bad. I mean, obviously enough of them and it would be a big problem because I wouldn't be able to get, like, anti-magic on all of them, but... I think one orb of fire is pretty tame for this character, thankfully. All these quicksilver guys, it's a good thing I don't want to like teleport out of there. That's actually a thing about Dalton. Not only do the teleports take longer to go off, but there's lots of guys like the purple draconians or have quicksilver. So if you do want to teleport out, it's often a lot harder. So you're often better off just like blinking out into one of the traps of teleport or something. Um, I don't even know what to get. I'm just going to get the invocations. Like I've already got the title, but sure. There's a few more magic points. It's not that much though. I'm pretty sure that Jewel's already 0% failure. Jewel's actually really, probably going to be really good if I want to split up Orbs of Fire. Like, if I do get model of them, that should, that should be pretty good at that. Do I have, like, some Might and stuff that I can use on these guys? You know what I probably should? I got, like, 10 Might I've been holding out on. Uh... 
Take this to Dreadlish Plus now to Ghost Malt, okay? Well, this might absolutely strip through things' health. I'm surprised I didn't need to use this earlier. Ooh. Why don't you do something? Why don't you do the Ancient Lich? Yeah, definitely brought, uh, split that party up enough. So I've still got the finesse on, still got the might on, so I think I'm pretty good. And there's more of these liches. Kind of feel like I'm walking through here in a way. I mean, I'm getting piety, but I gotta definitely be keeping a very close eye out on the enemies. Make sure I'm doing all right, but these, those finesse plus, uh, might is just crazy. I should put the might back on. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Mine with a quick play is going to be doing something. <laughs> yeah, I lost my finesse, but I might just put it back on. All right, well, I can grab the orb, get it out of here. Let's do that. I think I might make a last minute switch to Quasal. Uh, That's not the right way to be going. Come on, Auto Explore. You know better than that. Well, it doesn't. <laughs> be nice if it did. Uh... Okay, stuff out the fog. Now it, it probably could figure out which way to go, but oh, I might just be a bit more careful. So this guy's got torment. Oh. <sighs> How fast is it actually? 160%. Okay. Good. The teleport traps are the trick. I thought I might have like... Do some blinks afterwards or something, but nope, it got me out of there. Well, this dude, what is this dude? Drain speed, 130% speed, and it's just melee. Oh, wait, I can't, of course, I can't tell to auto travel, but I am faster than that guy that's melee, so no need to worry there. Yeah, the angels are trying to stop me, but they're not gonna set a chance. Uh, well, I should just be getting out of here. I should be going to. Where did I see Quaslol? Temple. All right, I should go to the temple. I want to be smited, but I think I can just fight this guy. There we go. I mean, once I get up to it, it's going to have a hard time smiting me anyway, because it's going to be anti magic There's a level 9. That's good. I hope my temple was early, but I don't think it was this time around. Might as well buff up. In fact, I might as well use up as much party as I like, because, like, I'm about to swap to Quasla, right? So I just gotta lose all my party anyway. Uh, you going? I guess I was. Gotta be a shame losing my buffs, but I got 11 scrolls of blinky or something, so I should be able to get out of here. Alright, abandoned Okawari. Sorry, Okawari, you served me well, but Quasal's got the title I want. A vine silk mishap. Oh, I see how that is. I might be able to, to do some digging or something, but anyway, let's just go to dungeon level zero. And about the egg, so let's get out of here. But I'm definitely not in a vine so quick, uh, mishap. I looked at the titles, and that's a new one, so let's do that. All right, well, that was a really fun game. No, thanks for redeeming that combo. Wait, who was the guy that redeemed that combo? It was... It wasn't 7D1, was it? It was... Oh, I should know. Hey, who did redeem this combo? I can actually look it up, though, can't I? It was Retomic. Retomic redeemed the, um... The Vine Stalker Fighter Rokuwaru. Yeah, it was definitely fun trying out the new Okawaru. I do like the new uh, duel a lot better. It feels more thematic, targeting the tough creatures. All right, well, the character, this character good stuff. Look at the hat, though. The hat of dismantles and supremacy. That was amazing. The Resist Fire, not, uh, 8 Magic Points and 2 Slag. That's basically Vine Stalker stuff in a hat. All right, well, I had plenty of consumables left. Wow, look at the speed on that game. That was speedy. Two hours, 36 minutes. 
I mean, not my fastest run ever, but definitely on the speedy side of things.